Today on the 700 Club Canada, we present a special episode of Superbook, The Ten Commandments. woke up every day to go clear the wilderness, fell the forest, and ford the streams. As a treat for our very first quantum family campout, I've created the most delectable freeze-dried breakfast imaginable. Great, Dad. Dear, could you come adjust the tense air conditioner? Coming, Phoebe. Oh, I was looking forward to roughing it in the great outdoors, hiking lost trails, swimming in waterfalls, exploring caves. Not camping with ACs and having atomic cookouts. Campsite 274G. Welcome to Pine Mountain State Park, land of many pines. And, uh, a mountain. Permit? I assume you kids know the rules of safe Pine Mountain camping. First off, no exploring caves. No caves? No caves, too dangerous. And no swimming in waterfalls. No swimming? In waterfalls. Too many rapids. And no hiking. No hiking? No hiking off the trails. You stay on the marked trails and... And no one touches my megaphone. Well, look, here's a complete list. And don't forget to have fun here at Pine Mountain. Rules, rules, rules. So much for the freedom of the great outdoors. Look! Here is some excellent firewood, Chris. Yeah, great. All right. We'll have a great campfire with all this wood. Come on, this way, guys. I bet there's lots more wood off the... I mean, further down this path. Wait for us, Chris. While standing here, I know I'm not alone. A shining light that brings life to me. We look with wonder, what mystery is this? What adventure can this be? A flash of light and the journey begins And then we'll travel through the ages The veil is pulled away, the mystery's revealed The spirit lives within the pages Superbook Bible app has fun stuff everyone will love. It's jam-packed with games and activities, plus lots of exciting Superbook episodes that you can watch for free. Find answers to your questions, watch videos, discover biblical heroes, and of course, read the Bible. The new Superbook Bible app. All the fun of Superbook in an app. Free downloads on iTunes, Google Play, and Amazon. to be broken. Come on. Chris, what if we get lost? Trust me, we won't get lost. Chris? Nice 
going, Daniel Boone. Now we're lost. We are not lost. Giz, use your GPS to guide us back to the entrance. I would love to, Chris, but the cave walls are blocking all incoming and outgoing signals. I can still make popcorn, though. Oh, I guess losing our way is all part of the fun of breaking the rules, huh? I'd like to land on a nice, soft sofa. My geosensors indicate we are in the Sinai Desert, and the time is the second millennium BC. Whoa! Pine Mountain Campground without the pines! It has been more than two months since you brought us from Egypt, and all we have found is hunger and thirst! Giz, do a face recognition scan. See if you can identify anybody in that group. My computer face match reveals the man in the middle is Moses, leader of the Israelites. But how can we survive? We have no food to feed our families and no water to drink. Please, you must have faith. Did God not provide us with quail when we were hungry last? God has promised my brother Moses... We were better off as slaves. At least the Egyptians fed us daily. Yes! He has not brought us out here to die. Trust that the Lord will provide. He has said, I will send bread down from heaven like rain. Wow. I hope it doesn't rain eggs. That could hurt. Moses! Moses, look! Is it snowing? <laughs> Zechariah, what is all the noise? Parks of camp have been covered with these flakes. They must have rained down from heaven last night. What is it? Usually Gizmo tastes better with a little cream cheese. No, oh, do not give them any ideas, Joy. What is this stuff? It is called manna. And it is just as the Lord promised. Bread enough for all! Yes! Yeah. Now that's how it oh, is! Everyone can eat! Come take some! Zechariah, gather up this manna. Then tell everyone in camp to collect some for themselves. But no more than they need for one day. For the Lord has so ordained it. We'll help you! <laughs> Amazing. Which tribe is he from? Moses, why is it God speaks only to you? He is our God, too. We want to see him. How can we trust that you are telling him all of our needs? The bread does not help us if we die of thirst. Will you ever have faith? Soon, we will be at Mount Sinai. There, I will again ask for God's guidance. How can we be sure that Moses even knows where he is taking us? I think he's leading us in circles. Boy, some people sure don't sound very grateful for being freed from slavery. It has been difficult for everyone. As slaves, we were always being told how to live. When to wake up, when to go to sleep, what work to do and what we could eat. Lots of rules. Yeah, don't you just hate that? But now that we're free with no rules to guide us, it is sometimes hard to know what to do 
or even what's right and wrong. Hey, no rules sounds great to me. Tell the children of Israel, you saw what I did in Egypt, and you know how I brought you here to me, just as a mighty eagle carries its young. Now, if you will obey me and keep my covenant, you will be my own special treasure from among all the peoples on earth, for all the earth belongs to me, and you shall be to me a kingdom of priests and a holy nation. Thus said the Lord. Do you agree? Will you keep our covenant, our agreement with God, and know that he will keep his agreement with his people? We will do everything the Lord has commanded. Then prepare yourselves. God has instructed me to consecrate you this day and tomorrow. Wash your clothes and be ready on the third day. For on the third day, the Lord will come down upon Mount Sinai in the sight of all his people. Great. Maybe God can tell me how I can get us out of that cave when Superbook takes us back to Pine Mountain. Remember, everyone, the Lord has given us rules for this holy day. No one may go near the mountain or touch it while he is upon it. <sighs> Just no getting away from this rule stuff. Blood of this burnt offering, I consecrate this altar which the Lord commanded me to build. God has called me to the top of the mountain to receive his commandments. Joshua will go with me. Aaron, I leave you in charge.
right, all right. Gather your gold earrings and trinkets. <laughs> have to go on the mountain. We've got Gizmo. Who, me? Go up there? <laughs> I uh, just remembered. I'm uh, late for my piano lessons and I have to... Uh... No, you can find Moses from here, Giz, with your super telescopic infrared smoke filtering laser vision eyesight. Come on. How is he doing this? Nothing there. Rocks there. More rocks. Rock. Rock. Rock! Moses! Rock! Gizmo! Moses! I found him! <laughs> Look! He's alive! Accept me. Do not make idols that look like anything in the sky or on earth or in the ocean under the earth. You must not misuse the name of the Lord your God. The Lord will not let you go unpunished if you misuse his name. Remember to observe the Sabbath day by keeping it holy. You have six days each week for your ordinary work, but the seventh day is a Sabbath day of rest. Honor your father and mother. Then you will live a long, full life in the land the Lord your God is giving you. Do not murder. Be faithful in marriage. Do not steal. Do not tell lies about others. Do not desire to possess anything that belongs to another person. Not a house, a wife, a husband, a slave, an ox, a donkey, or anything else. Quick, go down the mountain. Your people whom you brought from the land of Egypt have corrupted themselves. Leave me alone, so my fierce anger can blaze against them, and I will destroy them. Then I will make you, Moses, into a great nation. Inside every child is a hero, a leader, a friend to others, someone who helps out, who does the right thing, who dreams of what they can be, but they still need our help. What should I do? What should I say? How should I feel? That's where Superbook comes in. It provides moral and spiritual truths through situations children can relate to, teaching God's word to the children you love.
on the Lord's side. Come to me. Troy, I'll be back in a minute. Aaron, are you all right? My weakness as a leader allowed so many to be led astray. Last night, as I stood at the altar, I asked God's forgiveness. And he will forgive you, right? Chris, if there is one thing of which I am certain, it is that God is good to us. Even in our weakest moments, His love never fails. It is true that these people are sinful and rebellious, but forgive our sin and let us be your people. a covenant to perform miracles for you that have never been seen anywhere on earth. Neighboring nations will stand in fear and know that I was the one who did these marvelous things. But you must do what I command you today. The Lord God has forgiven his people. Now, O Israel, listen to the statutes and the judgments which I teach you to observe, that you may live and go in and possess the land which the Lord God of your fathers is giving you. The Lord has told us it is now time to leave Sinai and to journey to the land of milk and honey. I'm really sorry about this. I disobeyed the rules and I, well, I also, well, kind of switched the trail sign around to take us off the main path. Why would you do that, Chris? I was tired of having to follow all those rules. But I guess the park's rules are here to protect us. And when we ignore them, well, everything kind of breaks down. I'm glad you realized that, son. Dad! Mom, you found us! Thanks to Ranger Granger here. Oh, it was nothing, really. Just used the basic rules of tracking, which I followed to the letter. And it didn't hurt that Gizmo was leaking oil when you guys left the trail. Cool! Cool? There is nothing cool about it. Tell them, Professor, without the proper hydraulic oils, my system will overheat, leading to the likelihood of malfunction and... Relax, Giz. I meant cool. Now we can follow your oil trail back out. Right. Follow me. I will get all of you out of here, checking my strategically placed personal oil slick. That is why they call me Slick. I'm slick with the tricks, get you out of this fix. Doom, 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 ba da da ba Oh, my Giz. <laughs> I'm the ranger fights danger, and my name is Granger. I live in a tent and don't pay rent. Oh, <laughs> that's clever. <laughs> okay, I, it sounds more like a monkey.
making